I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa, I make the city move. I got the move. One of the craziest things to happen so far this season has been the emergence of Luka Doncic. Whilst Luka Doncic is only 20 years old and is just beginning his second season in the NBA, he is already dominating at a level rarely seen before at this age. Before the season started, many fans ranked him in the top 25 players currently. That was probably around where I'd put him too. But now, after just over a month into the NBA season, Doncic is making fans rethink that. And now he is without question a top 10 player in the league. Personally, I think he's already reached a top 5 status, and I'll be going over why in today's video. If you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's talk about Luka Doncic. Lucas. Luka Doncic has been killing it this season. As of when writing this script, the man is averaging 29.9 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 9.7 assists per game. That is insane. Without a doubt, those are MVP numbers as he is currently top 5 in the league in points per game and is only behind LeBron in assists per game. He is the only guard to average over 10 rebounds per game as well, and if you classify him as a small forward, he is still the only player to average 10 boards a game in that position. So far, Doncic's stats he has supplied us with this season have been historic, and it's a big reason why people are calling him the next generational talent in the league. These stats have come from some great performances, like the one where he dropped a cool 40-point triple-double, the only 20-year-old to do so apart from LeBron James, and just today, he dropped another 40 points on my Rockets as the Mavericks got a blowout win. Again, Doncic has just been insane so far, and he doesn't seem like he'll be slowing down anytime soon. And those aren't empty stats either. Doncic is getting the Mavericks wins. The Mavs currently are third in the West with an 11-5 record and they are here because of Doncic. Luka isn't carrying, I won't say that, but he is leading them and is playing amazingly so far. He is helping the Mavericks big time. So, where does Luka rank currently in the NBA? Is he a top five player yet? Before we start this discussion, I want to say that Durant is not involved in this convo due to his injury. It's based on players playing this season. Firstly, Doncic is not better than LeBron James. Let's get that one out of the way. Doncic has been extremely good so far, but he's not on LeBron's level. That would be complete disrespect to LBJ if I said that. Same thing goes with Giannis. Giannis is absolutely amazing, a reigning MVP, looking like he's going to get his second. He's led a mediocre roster to the first seed in the East so far with a very tough schedule, so I just can't put Doncic over him. Versus Kawhi Leonard, it's closer than the last two players, but I still have Kawhi over Doncic. Kawhi's added playmaking this year has helped make this an easier decision, so to me, Kawhi is still better by quite a bit too. Now this is where it starts to get interesting. I'm going to have to take Anthony Davis over Doncic right now, because whilst both are legitimate MVP candidates, I don't know, I just feel like Davis is the better player. Since they both play the complete opposite from each other, it's really hard to compare them, so that's why I don't have much reasoning behind this. So those four guys right there are the ones I'm going to put in the top four, so that leaves one spot left for the top five, and I personally believe Doncic fills it. In my opinion, he's been better than Steph Curry this season, mainly due to Curry's injury woes, and I also believe that he's taken over James Harden, barely though. I was really unsure if Harden was worse than Doncic, and I don't want to say that because I am a Rockets fan, but, but I can't deny Luka's insane talent after today's game versus Houston, and it honestly makes me want to put him in the top 5. So overall, this is what I'm saying. LeBron, Giannis, Kawhi, and Anthony Davis are all above Doncic talent-wise right now and Harden and Luka are tied for the 5th best player in the NBA, I just can't split them. 
Some days this season, it's obviously been hard on who's the better player. But then again, there are moments like today when you can't just help and think that Doncic could legitimately be better than him. That is why I'm putting them as equal fifth. When KD and Curry return next season, I do think Doncic may fall down the list slightly, but he's put his name in the discussion for now. Before the season started, absolutely no one predicted how good he's been, and the fact that he's consensually a top 10 player now is just crazy to me. He's in his second season. Doncic has just been so fun to watch these past couple seasons and to see him grow into an elite NBA player already is just tremendous. The real question is now if he can keep it up for the rest of the season and for the answer to that we're going to have to wait and see. But that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? How good is Luka Doncic to you? Is he a top 5 player in the NBA already? let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.